if you change, so will your life. And if you do different things in your life that you're gonna get different outcomes, you're gonna see some immense growth. everybody welcome back for another video okay there are a lot of terms right now that have been going around and one of the biggest ones that I've seen is soft life and I wanted to talk a little bit about how to activate your soft life step into your divine feminine and just live a more peaceful, calm, less chaotic life and have a nice balance. Soft life is essentially just peace and comfort, healthy balance, a lot more clarity, developing boundaries, understanding the meaning of self-care, and they all kind of fall under that entire soft life category. And I wanted to get into today, for 2023, I think a lot of us need to slow down a little bit. We need to activate feminine attributes about ourselves and really just tap into that more softer, calmer, clearer version of ourselves because there's nothing better than being clear-headed, peaceful, and comfortable in a healthy way when it pertains to your life because you are just going to flow and work better. Naturally, a lot of us live very chaotic lives. A lot of us maybe work two jobs or you have children or you are just always rushing and you're always stressed. You maybe thrive in chaos or you just are maybe a little bit lost. You could be trying to understand and find your purpose we're going to get into that all today because I really just think that you can interpret these words however you want to interpret them. For me personally, living softer just means a little bit more intentional, incorporating self-care and peace, clarity, boundaries, and just a healthy lifestyle. So I'm going to talk to you guys about how you can activate your softer life and just live a little bit better. Don't we want to live a luxurious life if we can? It doesn't always have to be living in a mansion in Dubai. We can have a luxurious life with different habits, routines, and just things that we can do to spice up our life and make it a little bit better. So I'm going to get into that with you guys today. I also wanted to say thank you so much, BetterHelp, for sponsoring today's video. We love BetterHelp over here. We love online therapy, and I think it's crucial that we all get the help that we need to live a happier, better life. So why not? And um, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram if you guys want to get updated on everything else. And let's just get into how to activate your soft life. Okay, the first thing you want to do to tap into a softer life is to discover your feminine energy. And I know this is another word that a lot of people are using right now is to like find your divine feminine and things like that. But for me, feminine energy can mean a lot of different things. And when it comes to me kind of getting into my feminine energy, it's just living a girlier, feminine, pretty, aesthetic life internally and externally. I know a lot of us think aestheticism always means like things looking organized and perfect, but you can have an aesthetic internal life as well, which is the healthy balance of work, play, leisure, um, therapy, getting the help that you need. There's a million different ways that you can kind of get softer and feminine inside. A few different ways that you can discover your feminine energy when it pertains to internal things is to find your more nurturing aspect. You know, a lot of us are super nurturing to others, but we always let it go by the wayside when it pertains to ourselves. How can we nurture ourselves? How can we be warm with ourselves? How can we tap into loving in certain ways and creating in certain ways? Like there's so many ways that you can really get internally feminine. Just do things that make you feel beautiful. This is all about discovery. We don't need to have all the answers now, but start doing things that kind of get you out of that fight or flight mode. We don't want to be in that mode. We want to be in a softer, healthier, calmer position. I personally think when you're in that type of mindset, you're going to perform better in life. You're going to be happier. A lot of the stress that you have is going to alleviate and you're just going to feel more powerful. I think a lot of people maybe mistake feminine for being like timid and not super powerful. I completely disagree. I think that being in your divine feminine and finding the things that make you feel whole and beautiful and just make you feel less masculine 
is a very, very, very powerful thing. So definitely discover that. Okay, we're gonna do a brief little intermission because I want to talk about BetterHelp, which is one of my absolute favorite sponsors to work with because it's all about mental health, which I take very, very, very seriously. Now, since we are talking about soft life and the importance of taking care of ourselves, this is the perfect way to do that and outsource for extra help if you are going through something, whether you're anxious, depressed, you need a little bit of guidance, this is the perfect way to do so. I also wanted to note that BetterHelp has over 25,000 different therapists to choose from with a broad range of people to have as help for you when it pertains to getting the help that you need. And what's so great about BetterHelp is you can literally access therapy in your own home and and try to get a consultation. You just fill out the specific questionnaire and they will get back to you super quick. You're gonna be able to get in therapy ASAP. And I just love that it is super friendly to what you're comfortable with doing, whether it's audio only, video, over the phone, they have different options for you when it comes to how you want to use your therapy sessions. And I personally love going to therapy. I've been in therapy my entire life and it's just a great outlet for getting a unbiased opinion and a listening ear for anything that you're going through. And if you do not like your therapist for any reason, you can always request a new therapist anytime that you want free of charge, which is really great. So you can find someone that works with you and your own particular goals and needs. I think a lot of us, are sometimes silently struggling and I just wanted to be the person who is giving you the I don't know, freedom to understand that it is important to take care of yourself. I don't want you to feel ashamed or embarrassed to get therapy. I personally will scream it from the rooftops that I am in therapy and it has changed my life. And I think that if you're going through a difficult time that it could do the same for you as well. So I hope that that helps you guys. And don't forget to check out BetterHelp today. I will put the link on the screen for you guys so you guys can check it out and leave it in the description bar down below so you guys can get your better help therapy sessions right now and thank you again better help for sponsoring today's video now let's get into the rest of today's topic okay the second thing that you want to do to live a softer life is to change your limiting beliefs i think a lot of us are super capable we are very much capable of becoming our best versions of ourselves, but it's really difficult to do that when you have limiting beliefs, when you don't believe things can happen for you when they can. I think right now, stepping into 2023, we need to reevaluate some of the things that are stifling us, some of the things that are preventing us from moving forward. What are your issues that you need to work out that will allow you to live a softer life? So for instance, I think a lot of people mistake that you cannot have a nice life without working your ass off and having literally no time to yourself. That is a limiting belief. You can live a luxurious, healthy, happy life and also make time for leisure and not have to slave your way at working in order to have those things. And I know sometimes that can sound really insensitive to those who are struggling, but I promise you that it is a true statement. You just have to figure out what it is that you can alter in your life that can give it a more softer feel. For instance, I think a lot of people work really hard and they don't manage any time for themselves. And I think that a way that we can maybe fix that is waking up earlier and getting a couple things done before we are off to work or even doing the same thing when we get home, cooking a nice meal, giving yourself an hour of time for meditation, working on yourself, journaling. There are so many ways that we can incorporate healthy leisure-like habits that will give us a softer appeal that will allow us to feel less stressed and less anxious. So essentially change your beliefs that things that you think can't happen, can. You need to give yourself that type of mindset. The more you stop stifling yourself, the more that you start to realize that if you change, so will your life. And if you do different things in your life that you're gonna get different outcomes, you're gonna see some immense growth. Okay, number three for activating a soft life. You need to find a passion project, a creative outlet for yourself. I was on TikTok recently and I noticed that a lot of different women are in embarking on hobbies as adults for the very first time. And I thought, wow, I've never witnessed like my parents doing that or my parents' friends doing that. Like it wasn't something that I witnessed growing up. And I'm not saying that it's abnormal. I mean, a lot of your parents maybe play golf or things like that. But for me personally, I grew up in a home where my mom literally just worked and that was it. It was work and took care of her kids. I never really saw my mom develop any passion projects or creative outlets for just herself. And 
If that works for her, fine. But I want to say that if you want to live a softer life, if you want to, you know, activate a different version of yourself, this is the time to start thinking about what you maybe enjoy. This year, I decided that when it becomes springtime, I'm going to sign up for tennis lessons. I have played tennis in the past and I always really enjoyed it. And now that I'm 25, I said, there's literally no stopping. I can still do tennis. I don't have to be in high school or middle school to play tennis. I can sign up for lessons with a coach, go to a private tennis court and play. Like it's something that I can do. I also love to paint. Um, maybe, you know, you like to write music or journal or draw pictures. There are so many different passion projects that you can develop and I'm telling you, the more that you fill into the cup that says you only on it, this isn't the cup with you, your work, your friends, your family, you know, this is the you cup. When you start filling into the you cup, you're gonna have a softer life. You're gonna see things a little bit more clear. You're going to be able to feel a lot happier and fulfilled in your life because even though maybe yes, in some aspects of your life, they're not perfect. You maybe are working a lot, you have kids, this and that. At least you have the allocated time for yourself in your life still. And it allows you to discover who you really are. I think a lot of us lose who we are the older we get, right? Because we're told that we have to work and go to school and do this and, and you lose parts of yourself that you used to just naturally have a part of you as a younger person. And the older we get, we need to just reevaluate these things and say, hey, wait, no, I want to go back to having sometimes a childlike mindset, um, creating passion projects for myself and giving myself the self-care and time that I deserve so that I don't lose myself in the process of becoming an adult. Number four, receive. To live a softer life, we need to be able to receive. Not only do we need to be able to receive love, we need to be able to receive gifts, we need to be able to receive new opportunities, we need to be able to receive anything that is coming our way that maybe we're not used to. New experiences, love, fun experiences. There are so many ways that we can receive and I think a lot of us when we are in our masculine or when we're closed off to things, we're just not really in the art of receiving. We're not able to really open our minds and our hearts. There was a time in my life where I would always be like, no, I don't wanna do that, no, I don't wanna do this, oh, I don't want that, oh, I'm good. And now I'm like, no, I'll take it, let's do it, let's go here, I'll try this new restaurant, whatever. And it's just a combination of receiving and allowing yourself to experience new things. That is soft life 101. You have to be able to just open yourself up like a wide-eyed kid that is discovering like the beach for the first time. You want to be able to have that beautiful open-mindedness to just being able to see the world in a different lens. Number five, learn ways to slow down. I have talked about this in several videos. The art of slowing down is important. We are always in hustle bustle mode. We are always trying to get to the next thing. To live a softer life is to be present, is to love your present, is to feel the present in your life. Put your phone down and actually absorb it. Actually absorb it. Feel it, understand it. When you are starting to feel a little bit chaotic, maybe you have a lot of work going on, put your laptop away, do a meditation, put on some music, allow yourself to create space between you and the things that stress you out and keep you in a crazy mode. You have to be able to slow down. And sometimes, yes, it does mean saying no. Yes, it does mean having to take time for yourself. I know that's really difficult for you guys sometimes, but you have to do it. And it's going to eventually be natural in your in your journey. For instance, today, I have had a million things going on. I knew I had to film this video. I had a couple emails I had to answer. I have other things going on in my life right now that I can't speak about that are major, major, major things that have been taking up a lot of my time. And I said, Haley, you have a hundred and million things in front of you right now. Put all the rest of the stuff away and focus on one thing. That's exactly what I did and I felt so much calmer. That to me was slowing down. I sometimes will try to compartmentalize and multitask and it's very unhealthy for me sometimes. And I just laser focused on one task at a time, slowed down my speed and I already feel that much better. So sometimes you just gotta do that. And the last tip is to do high maintenance things that make your life low maintenance or just make your life easier. Um, this can pertain to beauty related things. 
Um, for instance, like if getting a silk press is gonna be an easy way for you to have your hair done for the week, you know, go get a blowout, get it flat ironed and you're good for the week or getting your nails done or getting a massage. Sometimes getting a massage will help you feel less tense. You need to sometimes invest in yourself and in your beauty and in your life and in your health in order to feel better. I love to spend some coin on press juices. It's so worth it for me and it just makes me feel super refreshed in the day. I also love purchasing meal delivery services. You guys know that I worked with Green Chef. I just love having meal delivery services because it's an investment, but it makes my life easier easier, which is exactly what we want. We want our life to be easier. So that's exactly what I personally love is just making sure that I do things in my life intentionally to give myself a softer life because now I'm making gourmet meals in my kitchen, but I didn't have to go to the grocery store and buy everything. And it's really nice. So sometimes we have to like outsource and invest in order to make our life softer and easier. I hope that this helped you guys. I think activating your soft life is so important, especially if you've been nonstop since the day you were born. Okay. Like we need a little bit of a break guys. And I hope that this was able to kind of spark some interest for you guys and get your you know mind going and allow you to really reevaluate what you got going on for yourself right now and to treat yourself with respect and love we need to respect our bodies our bodies is all we got and we need to treat it right and mind body and soul guys mind body and soul is what we need to focus on so i hope this helped you guys don't forget to check out better help thank you again for sponsoring today's video and i will see you guys in the next one bye everyone Mwah.